Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. So Darren, I was on the plane the other day uh, flying to somewhere I don't even remember. No, it was, it was interesting. I was going to see some farms. And I was talking to a lady who was from, she was born in downtown Philadelphia, now lives in Detroit. So she had absolutely zero connection with the farm and we're flying over all these pivots. And she said, what are all those circles out there? And why are they in circles? And why are they planting a different crop in the corners? And I just thought, you know, how many viewers of Ag PhD are non-farmers? And maybe they don't understand what those things are either. So. We want to explain this a little bit so the next time when you're flying over some of these things, you know exactly what's going on. What we're talking about here is fields that have a center pivot. So there's an irrigation pivot, and they say pivot because in the center there's a fixed point, and it pivots on that point. So it'll swing around all the way around the field in a circle, but unfortunately when you get to those square corners, that pivot can't quite reach them. So you're going to be able to water most of the field, but those corners are going to be dry farming. Now, there are ways to handle that. There are some pivots that you can buy where they'll have extra swing attachments that could get into those corners, but typically that's not done. So what farmers will do is they will farm their entire field, obviously. They want to try to raise a crop on the whole field, but what do you do when you're in a very arid climate, you don't get a lot of rainfall, and you don't have irrigation in those corners, are you going to raise the same crop? Well, no, you're not because, well, really, let's be honest about it. A lot of it ends up being corn in those fields and it being it ends up being full season hybrids. And those hybrids, aren't they're going to run out of water before they can make it yeah. to maturity in the corners. So what some farmers will do is they'll plant soybeans in the corners. They'll plant alfalfa in the corners or wheat in the corners. Something different that can either mature a little bit earlier or maybe doesn't have as much of a water demand as what corn does. Just something to mix it up a little bit. So when you see those corners out there, just understand those are not very productive productive areas of the field and without irrigation, without that center pivot irrigation, the whole field would be non-productive. At least we've got most of the field now, usually in a quarter section, that would be 160 acres. You can figure there's roughly 130 or 135 acres that we're able to irrigate with that center pivot. So you've got roughly 25 to 30 acres that's kind of going to go to waste and go to one of these crops that Darren's talking about that hopefully aren't going to need quite as much moisture to grow and produce some type of crop. And for some farmers, maybe they have livestock and they say, you know, I could sure use some oats and maybe just a few acres of oats around the side would be just fine. Or for other farmers, they say, you know, I'll put soybeans there because they're pretty forgiving. And if we do catch a rain late in the season, they'll still make it. The problem gets to be if farmers choose to plant the same crop in those corners every year. Let's say that you had soybeans in the same corners every year. We've seen that on some farms and they end up having some issues with soybean cyst nematodes or some disease that infects broadleaf crops like soybeans. So it's still a good idea for farmers to rotate crops in those corners, even though it may not be that many acres on their farm. Well, once again, we just wanted you to know what those circles are when you're flying across much of the United States. It's just center pivot irrigation, and farmers are doing that typically in more arid or dry climates, because otherwise it would be very challenging for them to raise a crop, especially in a dry year like this one. Well, one other thing that may be a challenge really any year is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 